Hello guys, what's going on? I'm Dr. Womble and today I'm going to be talking about the DAISY 1.14 patch. So this patch has taken the community by storm, it seems everyone's playing it and really enjoying it and that includes me too. But the burning question is where to easily get a full NBC suit. So if you don't know, the NBC suit and the gas mask and filters are what's going to keep you safe whilst in dynamic and static toxic zones. So without further ado, let's get into it and help you get the NBC gear you need to explore the new zones. So spawning in, you're likely going to be on the south or southeast coast. So I would recommend heading, if you are close, towards Cherno or Electro. Now both of these are brilliant for the basic essentials in DayZ, such as a knife, maybe a small weapon, a pistol, some food. And of course there are a couple of medical buildings there you can get yourself started out with. Now the other benefit to Electro and Cherno is that they both have a fire station and I personally have found that these are a really good place to get NBC gear uh, including filters on top of just basic medical buildings like the Star of Life and the hospitals. And from here you continue up the east coast and there's a couple of paths you could take. You could head up to Steroy, as there is a medical building there, or you could continue on up the coast, heading towards Solnichny, where you will find another medical building. At this point, I would like to note that if you don't already know this, when you're around medical buildings, fire stations, etc., all of the smaller buildings around it will also likely contain loot from that category, i.e. medical, fire, etc. So it is always worth checking those just in case, as on quite a few occasions I have found NBC gear outside of those buildings more than in them. So to continue our route, if you came through Steroy, I would suggest heading north straight up to Gorka, and if you're on the coast from Solnichny, I would head straight up to Berezino. Berezino, for me, has been one of the most plentiful places to find gas masks, NBC suits and filters, simply because of the concentration of medical buildings and fire stations in such a small space. The fire station at Berezino has been the place I have tried to always loop back to, as I will show in the video now, there are a few cargo containers outside the back, so they have been really good for finding NBC gear. That's actually how I found my original set of pants and boots um, before moving on to any other towns. And not to mention that Berezino as a town is quite good for a coastal town. It does have a small military tent, a police station and many different houses you can search to get food and all the supplies you will need to head up north. So from Berezino there is a really nice loop that you can do. As we all know vanilla doesn't have the highest loot spawn rate and not only that but if you are playing on a populated server especially an experimental everyone is going to be trying to get those NBC parts the filters the gas masks if not hoarding them so that they can go into the gas and be safe for as long as they really wish from berezino there's two different ways you can go so the first one and the one that i would probably suggest would be to head straight up the coast past the gas at riffy uh, up to svetulask here there is a medical building which you can search for mbc gear uh, there's also a few other different types of buildings, again, that you can search for normal, useful items in Daisy. You could also alternatively go straight to Krasnostav, as there's a medical building there, as well as the newly placed medical tents on the edge of the airfield. The only reason that I would suggest Svetulask is that if, by the end of this loop, you haven't got the full gear, it's a little bit easier to create that loop once again from the other side of that loop. From Svetulask, we head west along the train tracks towards Senea Polana, and here there is a fire station. Again, fire stations are quite good for finding NBC gear, and I've found particularly filters, they're very plentiful in fire stations. 
then heading northwest to Novo, where there is yet another medical building you can search. And once again, all of these towns we're going through have many other buildings, police stations, guard shacks, to get anything else you may need on your travels. Once we're done in Novo, we'll head west once again towards Severograd, now, if you take the top road out of Novo to the northwest, then that'll bring you back down to another medical building right at the top of Severograd. Again, I'd just like to mention here that whilst you are at that medical building, there are a few military buildings surrounding it. And if you were in need of military loot, ammo, guns, etc., if you head north, then there is an outpost at Kamensk, which can be quite good for military loot if you so wish. So to continue, whether it be from Kamensk or the medical building, you want to head south into Severograd. In the centre of Severograd, you will find another medical building. There will also be a fire station on the west side as you leave the town. When you are ready to leave, if you head south out of Severograd, down the main road you will come to a dirt track and at the end of that dirt track there will be yet again another medical building. At this point, if you have the full NBC suit and filters with a gas mask, then you could easily head west from here through Grishino towards Northwest Airfield and maybe even Tizzy if you wanted to get those high tier military items. I will also say that it is highly possible if you went to Tizzy that you would find quite a large amount of NBC gear. The only reason that my loop is not around that part of the map is simply because the times I have visited Tizzy on Experimental, I've found that finding NBC gear is very hit and miss. You may find a full suit, but you also may find absolutely nothing. Under the presumption you haven't got a full NBC suit or gas mask or any of those parts and you want to continue this loop, you want to head slightly north and east from the southern medical building at Severograd. From there you will hit Krasnostav the town. In Krasnostav you will find a medical building and once you have searched that building, if you head over to the airfield which used to be pretty empty, in experimental and when the 1.14 patch releases there is a block of the yellow medical tent and these are extremely good for not only just NBC gear but medical loot in general. I found more bandages than I can carry, saline bags, IV start kits, epinephrine, morphine, the list goes on. And this is probably the best place on the map to get specifically NBC gear, but obviously without any spawn there, you need that loop to let it spawn back in when you return. Now, at this point, it is highly likely that after going through all of those towns, finding the medical buildings, hospitals, fire stations, and the airfield, it is likely that you will probably have a full suit, a gas mask and filters, uh, however, if you don't, that is the beauty of this route, in that you can go straight from Krasnor Airfield back to Svetulask, and then continue east and create that loop once again to Novo, to Severograd, back to Krasnor, and just make that constant loop until you do have the full gear set. Once you have got the full gear, no matter where it may be on that loop, Again, the brilliant thing about the positioning of this loop is you are very close to Riffy and the coast, which means that by the time you have that gear, it's not going to be a huge journey to go and check out that particular static gas zone. The reasoning of being in this area of the map to complete your loop whilst you've got your gear would be that for me, Riffy has been a brilliant place to get that type of high tier military loot like KAMs, like VSSs, AS Vals and M4s and I have found that Riffy compared to Pavlovo, although Pavlovo will give you extra filters and maybe some spare NBC gear, it isn't always quite as lucrative for that high tier military weapon kind of loot. 
even if high tier military loot isn't why you want to get the NBC suit. Just seeing Riffy walking into the gas going through the ship is absolutely amazing and it really does bring back some real sense of joy playing the vanilla game that for most people hasn't been there for quite some time and I really do hope that everyone playing experimental is enjoying it just as much as I am because I genuinely cannot get enough of it right now. And that's it guys, that's the route. I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope that it has helped you to get the NBC gear and have the experience that the dev team have created as honestly, it makes me want to play vanilla servers way more than I ever have in my entire time playing Daisy standalone. And as always, I would appreciate any feedback, be it maybe things that I could do guides on or other places that people have found that are also good for NBC gear, that would all be massively appreciated. I'd also appreciate liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I will be trying my best to output more guide content and not just that, but also some gameplay content where available. I'd just like to finish the video by giving myself a little cheeky plug by saying that I do stream on Twitch. My name is Dr. Underscore Womble and I'd love for any people who want to to come and join in on our adventures on Experimental and on 1.14 when it does release. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I wish you all a brilliant day. <laughs>